In this video, we're going to go over the cell cycle. A cell cycle is a series of processes in a cell that results in the production of two identical daughter cells. You can see in this diagram that the cell cycle consists of several phases. The G1 phase, the S phase, the G2 phase, and the M phase. Let's go through each of these. The G1 phase is also called the first growth phase. During this period of time, there is a high rate of cellular activities. This is referring to the production of proteins, the production of organelles, and cell growth. Essentially, the cell is growing. And during this period, the cell is preparing for DNA replication. DNA replication is the next phase called the S phase. Sometimes it's also called DNA synthesis for S phase. And as we know, DNA replication is going to result in two identical copies of DNA. So after the S phase is complete, you will have two sister chromatids that are identical for each chromosome. The next phase is the G2 phase, which is also called the second growth phase. Similar to the G1 phase, there's a high rate of cellular activities, and here it is to prepare for mitosis. Sometimes on the MCAT, you might encounter another term called interphase. This is generally referred to the period of time when a cell is preparing for mitosis. And it is defined as the G1, S, and G2 phases combined. So uh, another way for you to think about it is the cell cycle is really just alternating between interphase and the M phase. Okay. So last, we have the M phase, which is also called the mitotic phase. There are two processes that occur here. One is mitosis, which involves the division of the nucleus into two identical nuclei, and cytokinesis, which is division of the cell into two identical daughter cells. Combined, mitosis and cytokinesis is the M phase. And since this is a cycle, you can see how cells can start with the G1 phase, go through the S phase, G2 phase, and then the M phase, and then you have two identical daughter cells that are now in the G1 phase, and they can essentially repeat the cycle over and over again to produce more cells. When you look at the diagram for the cell cycle, you also notice that on the side of the G1 phase, there is this G0 phase, which is really its own cycle. The cell essentially just stays within this G0 phase and just remains in that phase. The G0 phase is also called quiescence. This is for non-dividing cells. So there are cells in the body that once they fully mature and differentiate, such an example being neurons, they don't divide anymore. So we see that these cells, the neurons, are in quiescence. Now, it's important to note that cells in the G0 phase, they're in a stable state, and the cellular processes in the cell are continuing as normal. So that would mean the neurons are continuing to produce proteins, organelles, and they're carrying out their functions. This is different from other uh, ways of disrupting the cell cycle, which are senescence. And we'll discuss that in later videos, but in those situations, you're looking at cells that are either aging or cells with DNA damage. This is not quiescence. Quiescence is perfectly fine. The cells are normal. They're doing their cellular functions. They're just not dividing.